In the last video, we found the equilibrium constant for this reaction, and we calculated it to be equal to 570. What I want to know is what does that actually mean? Let's follow that question with another question. Which reaction is more favorable, the forward or reverse reaction? Well, when we write our equilibrium expressions, we always put products over reactants. So the fact that our k value is larger than 1, and actually several orders of magnitude larger than 1, that's going to mean that we have more product than we do reactant here. In other words, the reaction that's going to the right, the forward reaction, is doing a better job than the reaction going to the left. Because k is larger than 1, I'm making more product and don't have as much reactant left over. So by looking at our k value, we know it's the forward reaction that is more favorable. When keq is greater than 1, and we're looking at a couple of orders of magnitude, this means that we're going to have more products than reactants, and the forward reaction is favorable. When you have a k-value much smaller than 1, that means you have more reactants than products, so the reverse reaction is favorable. When k is about equal to 1, then it's hard to tell. Both reactions are equally favorable. So let's look at another one. Let's talk about carbon dioxide decomposing to make carbon monoxide and oxygen. We let this come to equilibrium, and we measure the concentrations of all of the species. Let's find the equilibrium constant, and let's figure out which reaction is more favorable, the forward or the reverse. As before, let's begin with our equilibrium expression. KEQ is going to equal the concentration of carbon monoxide squared times the concentration of oxygen all over the concentration of carbon dioxide squared. We have our equilibrium concentrations, so my carbon monoxide is 0 0.051, and I want to square that. My oxygen is 0 0.0311, and I'm going to divide that by my carbon dioxide, which is 0.485, and I want to square that. When I solve for KEQ, I get 3.44 times 10 to the negative 4. So my KEQ is significantly smaller than 1. So what does that mean? That means my reverse reaction is the more favorable of the two reactions. 